All right, so I'm using that suction cup mount on the window over there. And uh, it seems to be working pretty good. We'll see how the stabilization holds up. It seems like the uh, adapter is pretty versatile. I put it on this window here a minute ago, aiming that way, and now I have it aiming this way. The wristwatch, I noticed, automatically turns off, this, which is quite cool, you know? So uh, you're not wasting the battery while doing what I'm doing right now. And if I just hit the button, I can check the framing quick, like, and see what the camera sees, and it'll automatically turn off. And then if I hit the button again, it'll stop recording, like now. All right, so now I have it mounted on the front window, the front windshield, and um, let's see how it does there. I'm recording uh, in 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is 50 megabits per second. So I just wanted to get some good footage with, you know, moving, uh, high-speed moving uh, subject type situations. So anyways, I wanted to tell you, I'm heading over to this dirt bike thing. Uh, supposedly they're gonna be racing motorcycles. Last year, they were racing them up a ski slope. Like, it was ridiculous. It was really steep. It was like a double diamond trail, and they were racing up. And you wouldn't think that much of it if it was like dirt bikes or something, but it was actually Harleys. It was Harleys um, racing up this ski slope. And I'm telling you, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Like, we're talking old school springers springs on the back, springs on the front. Some of them had extended swing arms and uh, and stuff like that, which was, you know, really cool to see. Anyways, we'll see what it looks like this year. Um, I plan on taking, you know, the camera around, but I'm not exactly sure um, what the scene is gonna look like. So, you know, I don't like pissing people off and, um, you know, I don't wanna be putting a camera in people's faces, you know what I'm saying? So I'll see what it looks like. Hopefully I get to break the camera out and uh, record some footage. All right, so here's the camera aiming out the front windshield. Actually, I'm on a bumpy road now, so I wanted to show you what it looks like on a bumpy road. And um, the camera's actually mounted upside down with the suction cup because the angle of the window, I couldn't figure out a way to get it on without putting it upside down. So I'll just flip this clip over in post-production, which is, you know, really easy, just like cropping a photo. It's no big deal at all. Um, but the camera is mounted upside down right now, just in case you're wondering. And I dropped Jace off. I don't have Jace in the car anymore, so I can drive a little bit more aggressive. All right, so now we're on to a, more of a smooth road. And um, as you can see, my windshield's cracked. The friggin' tractor trailer kicked up a rock on the way to work and just smashed my windshield all the way over here in the corner. And then it's worked its way across the windshield over the last month or two. I actually have glass coverage. I am, uh, you know, just a procrastinator. Got to get it done, but, uh, you know, actually got to make the call, you know what I mean? Got to find the number. I mean, you know, the struggle. It's a pretty fun section of road. I, um, every once in a while, have to take. It's like, how fast can you go before the tires slide? and it gets a little sketchy. Definitely go faster, but I don't want to push it. And here is the fun park. Actually, I have a season pass for this place. Runs alongside the river here, the Neversink River. And this is like um, kind of Monticello, Rock Hill area um, in New York State. Oh, there's a motorcycle. Oh, there's like a line of cars to get in. Some pretty cool vehicles at a, a, a show like this. You know, you're going to see some awesome cars usually, some jacked up trucks, um, Jeeps, all sorts of stuff like that. So looking forward to it.